everyone, welcome back to Health Net Nutrition. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Today's video, I am featuring this amazing roasted tomato and red pepper pasta sauce. And it's basically my roasted red pepper soup turned into a pasta sauce. I've been loving roasting veggies in the oven and this is just kind of something that kind of got created last minute. I love it, it's so good, so flavorful, and it's just an easy sauce that you don't have to spend hours cooking over the stove and, and adding spices. It's basically like you roast it and you blend it all together, add a couple spices and you're done. It's super easy and you can really customize it depending on the consistency that you want by just blending it more. Or if you wanted it more creamy, you could definitely add a little bit of coconut milk or, or soaked cashews in there. And But it's just a super simple pasta recipe. So I thought I would share it with you guys because it's something I've been loving just over um, spaghetti squash like I featured today or some brown rice pasta. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Also, if you are not subscribed already to my channel, it would mean so much to me if you clicked the subscribe button right here so you don't miss any future videos from moi. And without further ado, let's get right into this awesome recipe. You're going to need some tomatoes, a red pepper, basil, olive oil, garlic, and some seasonings. I'm using cumin, black pepper, salt, and Italian seasoning. You're gonna take those tomatoes, I'm using the ones on the vine, and you're just gonna kind of just roughly dice them. It doesn't have to be too fancy because you're just gonna roast them and then blend them all up anyways. Next, you can go ahead and cut that red pepper in half. Feel free to use a yellow or orange or whatever you'd like. And then you're just gonna throw on your tomatoes onto a parchment lined baking tray. This is just so it doesn't stick. And then you can go ahead and throw on those halved uh, red peppers on there too. Next, you're gonna start seasoning your tomatoes. I'm gonna add on my minced garlic, drizzle some extra virgin olive oil. Sprinkle some fresh sea salt and black pepper. And then I quickly minced up my basil. You can shred it as well and I'm gonna just sprinkle that over as well. Pop this into the oven to get all roasted and flavorful and just slow roast it. So once it's out of the oven, this is what it's gonna look like. You can see all the flavors really infused and everything just looks delicious in my opinion. So after the peppers have cooled, you can go ahead and peel off the skin. It should come out quite easily. Um, you can put them in a bowl with saran wrap over top to let them steam um, to help it a little bit easier. But I mean, I don't find they're too difficult, especially if I just have one to peel. Next, you're gonna go ahead and throw in all of the roasted veggies and the juices. Make sure you add the juices into your food processor along with all of your seasonings. I'm gonna also throw in my fresh basil. Pop the lid on and you're gonna just blend everything together until you've reached the right consistency. And be sure to head over to my blog for the full recipe. This is the consistency that I like it. Kind of a little bit chunky, um, but you can definitely make it smoother if you wish. You can go ahead, top that onto your brown rice pasta, your gluten pasta, or in this case, my spaghetti squash pasta, which I will have a link to at the end of this video on how to make it. And then I did this on my What I Eat in a Day video for the fall edition. I added some rapini, and it's just a great combination. So there you have it. That's how you make this super easy marinara sauce. For watching this recipe video I hope you guys enjoyed it and got some good inspiration on what to put on your next pasta dish um, also too if you recreate this recipe I would love it if you sent me a photo on social media tag me at your health net so I can double tap your photos and comment on them and possibly share them on my Instagram feed makes me so happy when I see your photos I'll insert some photos right here of some past recipes that you guys have recreated it just like melts my heart when I see them on social media and it makes me feel like you guys are interacting with me even though we can't really talk right now but you know I feel that way so thank you so much for watching and sharing my videos and recipes and I will see you guys in my next video hope you guys are having a wonderful day today's video is another healthy tip Tuesday